well, well, well. How's everyone doing? How's everyone today? Got a different type of video for you. I actually wanted to really talk about this because for me, this this is kind of cool. So this is pretty cool. Uh, sorry for my voice. I got a little bit of a little bit of a cold, but I do have a new mic, so that will help out. But this week's uh, or this month's dev blog has came out, and there's a lot of stuff to talk about. But there's some real big, big news that, frankly, that's what I want to talk about. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it real quick. So first is Philippe, the lead dev, our amazing Felipe, talks about, uh, oof, oof. yeah, these, this is my knuckles. I, I crack. I'm so sorry, guys. Like, you'll, yeah, you will hear this as I play. It's just me cracking. Hold on, let's see if I crack my neck. Oh, yeah, that was my neck right there. That was all my neck. All right, hold on. I think I caught that one, too. Yeah, I, I crack. Like, I just crack, bro. But Philippe talks about uh, whore testing and the bugs in whore testing. They're working on grapple, fixing everything up, uh, working on mutations, and basically just making sure things are going to be good. Amarok, our amazing programmer, doing what he does. I really didn't read. I'll be honest, I didn't really read much of any of this devlog i very always i always just skim through the devlogs except for the cool stuff the stuff that i really want to see like wedge like oh new calls for diablo that's awesome even though i'm not on the horde test i i like to know that new sounds for omni and dibble being grappled that's cool Tapwing, our lovely wonderful amazing Tapwing, which i'm surprised we didn't get any concept art for any animals or any creatures for this month because that's like Tapwing's thing is to always have a concept for every dev vlog. So, what's up, Tapwing? Who 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 who's supposed to be this month? I want to know, please. Uh, Brian, our amazing animator, Brian, who who's just the god at animating that he is. You know, it's just you can see here a bit of T Rex. You know, in game, Diablo is basically done, so that's good. So Dibble's gonna be coming out very soon. And I can't wait for Dibble. I love Diablo. One of my favorite dinosaurs in this game. Kind of one of my favorite dinosaurs in general because of the aisle. And I just can't wait for it. Uh, Kissin, just talking about the normal things that Kissin talks about. About how the aisle is moving forward in some way, shape, or form. Never said fast. It's just moving forward. <laughs> the best way I can put it. But here is the meats of this dev vlog. And it's Aloe. And oh boy, am I excited. All right, there. Here's, here's some things about me. Like, everyone knows that I love Acro. That Acro is my favorite dinosaur. Aloe is like in my top 10 favorite dinosaurs. But that's besides the point. It's just, this, this guy's gonna fuck everything up. He's gonna fuck e everything up. And I can't wait for it. Because the thing is, with how Avrima is currently... I don't, I can't, I, I don't fit with anything. I don't, I can't main any of the carnivores. I can't main Carno. I can't main Serato. It's just their gameplay styles just aren't for me personally. They're just, they're just not for me. But I feel like Aloe, Aloe's going to be the one. Aloe's going to be the guy for me. Because in Legacy, I fucked people up on Aloe. I would fuck people up. I fucked up Rexes. Gigas, Chance, all you Utah players that just would ass ride me and you thought that you had skills, I would kill you. I would end Utah's lives. So I, when Aloe comes in, oh yeah, bet your ass I'm going to be on him, playing him all the time. Um, What I think, like what I do love is the whole use of his claws and Kissin kind of talks about, or yeah, Kissin talks about him and his claws and having him be a versatile ambush and big game hunter. What what I feel like they're going to have him do is kind of like with Dibble's sparring thing with Aloe, because you can see here how he can kind of like how he's reared up, is that with Aloe, you go into a specific stance and you kind of rear up and you can just use your claws just to pumble stuff. Or comparably, instead of an alt bite, it's an alt slap. So instead of biting something, you just slap it the fuck out of it. But simultaneously, probably your right click is a grapple like this. So a normal click, a left click is a bite, right click is a grapple, 
then there's some other attack or some other segments of buttons that gives you a claw swipe, which I feel like should be, it's probably the alt. Or the alt bite might be a claw swipe, but we'll see. I just love this animation. He's just going to town on this orb, this poor red orb. <laughs> imagine, imagine this is your life, just perpetually being grabbed by an aloe. And, <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait for aloe. I really can't wait for it. It's going to be such a good, so much fun, such a good dinosaur. And also, hold on. I don't know how many of you have seen this, but this is on Reddit. But this is the thrash animation for aloe. I don't know how many people have seen this. Oops. Can I just loop this? Here we go. This is just a thrash animation. And I just love this animation. I just love how his head, like, Aloe just goes burr. He just goes burr with his head. And it just and he just grabs it, like, just shakes it, shakes it, shakes it, shakes it, grabs it, rips. That's going to be such a bloody, bloody animation when it comes out. And I, oh, I can't wait for it. I can't wait for this thing to come out. I'm from, um, to be honest, I feel like it's going to be, you know, kind of like Carno and Serato. Three to a pack, but, eh, maybe two. Diet wise, I see it hunting stegos, tenos, uh, packies, probably serratos. Carno, I feel like it's going to be a 50 50 on the diet, but I do see it hunting carnos. It's either it's going to be cannibalistic and eat other aloes, or it's going to swap out and eat carnos, which, I've, which I think the devs probably will do. So it's going to be stegos, tenantos, packies, uh, serratos, omnis maybe dilos and let's say goat and deer all right so say it has eight things on its diet that's what i feel that's what i think it's going to be hopefully i don't know it's either going to swap with carno to aloe and make this thing cannibalistic slightly but bruh, i can't wait for this thing to come out i surely as heck cannot wait um what do you guys think about it are you guys excited for aloe because i surely as heck am uh, like the video, like, uh, click the like button, subscribe, helps out, leave a comment, what are your guys' thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.